We shall learn bundling JS and CSS files into our layout page. Now what is bundling? Bundling refers to adding proper link and script tags into your head tag. We use link tag for CSS files and script tag for JS files. Bundling means adding these tags properly into the head tag so that these paths they resolve correctly. The second reason for bundling is compression and minification. What is minification? Minification is to remove the white space from your JavaScript or CSS files. If you remove white space then the file size reduces considerably. As a result the file will load very quickly. Uh, and compression is putting a number of files together into one zip. If we put our files into one zip unit, into one compressed unit, then the number of calls to your server, it reduces considerably. To understand this better, let us see this. Suppose your page contains a number of script tags having SRCs here and these are 10 script tags at the top of your page. If we do not bundle them together and do not compress them together then your browser will make 10 different requests to the server. This has issues because modern browsers they generally limit the number of concurrent requests to 6. If a seventh request comes, it is queued. So this means if you have 10 files in a sequence, then first six might come simultaneously, but for the other four, you might have to wait for them to download. So a better way is to put all these 10 files into one compression unit so that they travel as a single unit and instead of making 10 different requests, you make one single request to the server. This improves performance and the loading of the first page. So in summary, we need bundling to first of all add proper paths to the CSS or JS files and secondly to compress and minify so that the white space is removed and files being become shorter and on top of it if you have 10 files coming down from your server put all of them 10 into one compressed unit. Your browser is able to unzip it automatically. All browsers they support zipping so if you put all 10 of them into one zipped unit, your browser will automatically segregate them into the 10 units. So you can imagine a performance improvement here. So MBC has a special system for compressing minification and proper path resolution. You do not need to write minified files. You can put as many spaces as you like. But if you use the MBC bundling feature, then they will be automatically minified and compressed before service. So let us now prepare for the bundling process. This process involves two stages. One is to get the proper NuGet packages and second is to write an initialization code in the global.asx file. So we will first get the relevant NuGet packages. For this you will need internet connected and let us see how to do that. You should go to the tools and go to the library package manager and open the package manager console. It opens a console like this. This feature is available on Visual Studio 2012 and let us now write at this prompt
we have written install package microsoft.asp.net asp.net.web.optimization and let us press enter to start installation let us now come to our global.asx.cs file to add our bundles so we'll proceed like this we'll use the bundle table class and add bundles like this so here we'll add a new script bundle a script bundle will be used to put our script files together so we have to create an object of the script bundle class and its first argument we can give any virtual path this path is a virtual path and you can see that it does not exist in the solution explorer this path tilde by my path by hoven it should not exist here if it exists here then this bundling will not occur correctly so this is one very important thing that you should remember generally what people do is that they will create a folder called my path here and create a subfolder hoven there thinking that this must exist it is just the opposite that it should not exist it should only be an imaginary path but it should be a path it should start with a tilde if it doesn't start with a tilde then you will get an exception so it has to start with a tilde and at the same time it 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 should not exist it should be a non existent path then we should write uh, call the include function new script bundle dot include so this uh, we'll have to uh, add an include here to the script bundle this is a function of the script bundle so we are passing the path the actual path to our js file so you can see that it is content by scripts by my js file dot js this include this is actually a function that this include it takes an argument of the type params params you can see in this intellisense here i'll write it also this is dot include its argument is of the type params string array this means you can pass any number of comma separated paths to this include function so this is the params keyword of c sharp that we have to see here coming back here so if we have more paths we can just write comma and include them also similarly we can include our styles we'll write new style bundle and include a, an imaginary path this path is again imaginary give it any meaningful name but it should start with a tilde call the include function and to include you can pass any number of comma separated arguments each argument should be a correct path to your css file so this is how we have to correctly perform the bundling in the global.asx file so you can see these steps if i have more css files i would have written it like this comma and css2 whatever so i can write as many comma separated 
pass as I like. So the server will do is it will actually combine all these my CSS files under one bundle name called mystyles.hoven. It will not only minify them, it will compress them also so that a single request is made to the server. Here is the layout file. It is here we'll have to write at the rate style. So it, it doesn't come here so we'll have to add some references to the namespaces. So come to your web.config and we'll have to add reference to our namespaces. So we'll add here add namespace is equal to optimization. Save it and let us come back to our CSHTML file. Here we'll have to write at the rate system dot web dot optimization dot dot styles dot render so here we will have to path uh, pass that virtual path that we gave in our global file so we are writing this is the path, uh, this is the style and let us copy this. Copy and bring it here. It is style so I have to bring this one. Copy and paste it here. Similarly I'll have to render my scripts. and here it is I think uh, my path so this is how we will have to add these two lines to our head tag this is system.web.optimization.styles.render so it will actually give proper paths to all these CSS files that I put here and internally do the compression work. Similarly, this one scripts will give proper paths, will include all the paths written here under the script bundle and do the proper compression. So let us now run it. This is the output that is displayed to us, layout page. Next, let us view the source what has come here. View source and you can now see that actually the proper translation has been done. You find a link and you find a script tag. If you have more links and more scripts they would have appeared here and automatically they would have been internally compressed by the server. So that's it. Thanks.